Good morning, folks. Many, many questions about the solar pole flip. Those who have been at this channel a while know it flips every sunspot cycle for a complete magnetic cycle of 22 years. Those who watch here have also heard that the north pole of the sun has already flipped. We are now waiting for the south, which honestly looks like it could be flipping now, right in the process. The secondary aspect of this article is the electric discourse surrounding the sheet within which the planets orbit, bobbing in and out. Essentially, our entire solar system is bathed in this electric sheet. Got a before and after here from Pakistan. Monsoon rainfall has devastated locals here and in Afghanistan. Lazarus Comet family discovered, named for their tendency to go inactive as they linger between Mars and Jupiter and then spring back to life as blazing comets. They show how this changes what the early system likely looked like, and in my opinion should alter your concept of the heavy bombardments and smaller events throughout history. Switching to weather, we are in the central Pacific where most know that Gil is weakening and should not threaten Hawaii. It's supposed to kick south as well. But right behind him is little sister Henriette. Little sister turning into big mama as she's gobbling energy and a bit of her brother out ahead. Most experts now predict that Hawaii is about to get their second tropical event in only a few weeks. A little rarer than rare as you see boats spinning their way to the island chain. Southwest Australia reporting tornado touchdown and multiple injuries. Seems tornadoes are favoring these two nations more than usual this year. Terrible storms with the Euro low slammed Austria and the Czech Republic, while south of its influence there is still no relief from that heat. Seems like a nice day for most of the west coast. Energy in the US is racing up the central states and there could be tornadoes in the US tonight as well. We got another gamma burst, this one from way in the celestial north, the Cassiopeia constellation. Solar flares are still quiet. The sunspots continue to decay, and the delta spot identified last night on the south has all but faded itself. Three-day solar wind data from SOHO here shows how the speedy particles up top from the coronal hole stream bunched up the slower moving particles ahead of it in the density line below. Just like a shovel would bunch up snow out ahead of it and leave a clear trail behind, I couldn't ask for a clear picture of a coronal hole stream. You can see there's not much happening in the solar wind the last 24 hours here on ACE. Geomagnetic disturbance has waned along with energetic flux. That energy is now on a trip to the core. There's a new moon today, earth facing umbral opening and coronal hole. And with the law of averages seeing us eight days from our last six pointer, the Quake Watch score again is seven. There was a significant solar eruption on the earth facing disk a filament on the northeastern quadrant destabilized and released its plasma into space. We can see from our position there is a small chance of geo-effectiveness to the blast but can also tell the ejection is moderately sized at best. Stereo B is perfectly positioned behind our orbit to see things headed our way from a side view. It's not clear if the entire CME will miss north, but most will, and a glancing blow to our shield is possible. Here's that other eruption coming off the south, eyes open. No fear, it's 6.35 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.